Okay, people, here you see the square, the first one here, like in the square and compass, which is the concept of four. And you see there are three things here in white, vertically, of course, for the old world order, which is the concept of three. And the concept of three it stands for the compass. So everyone who's initiated reads here square and compass. It's always the same, folks. This is how it sounds like, you know, sleeping next to the motorway the whole night like that. So, we're in November, and it's like 6 degrees Celsius. Oh, time to get up. In your dodge bag. Nazi socks. A little forest next to the motorway. So here, people, it's the same. You see the uh, the G as in between the square and compass, and you see there's one quarter out of the circle that's being cut out, like eaten away. So there's three quarters left for the concept of three. And if you imagine the whole thing all together, the circle, you get the concept of four. And here's a little square also here in between. If you see the white, it's like a square. And the whole thing, you know, it, 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 it comes out of a circle, which is the compass. I'm a tent here. Uh, the socks are drying. Do you all see the logo? Look at it. It's a bloody swastika. You see that? And the eight parts in it for octagon. The whole thing is like in a square. It's very stylistic, eh? And it's in blue for the war color. And I told you, you know, the swastika, I made that film about it. Swastika comes from a, um, a pyramid. It comes from a pyramid. And the name of this brand of socks is uh, Colombia. And Colombia stands for Isis, the goddess. And she has this, she has the Isis horns, Isis. Out of, out of, you know, with the, with the round thing in it, it's probably the sun. Round is the compass and this one is the square. Now the Nazis won the war and they used the, the German nationalists who were for Germany, not against Germany, to um, to make this um, to get this Nazi uh, stuff going on against the German people and against all peoples of the world. Actually, Nazis in Switzerland they won the war. I'm bloody walking around in my Nazi socks here. Ah, man. Don't you tell me they don't know it, you know, it's too much, I, they know it, you know, you can see it's a swastika and a haken kites and a haken, which is a square, you know, 90 degrees, like from in the square and compass, and Colombia is Isis, and Isis in demotic pharaonic language, you only write down the consonants and you get SS. Colombia, eh? Nazis won the war. Switzerland too, where all the money is, eh? Ay, 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 ay. How can they do this? Oh, these are my Nazi sneakers, look at it. Like in the sneaky bastard sightseeing show. My Nazi sneakers. Better hide it.
You know, the, um, well, the Germans lost the war. Even the German nationalists, they won, the, they lost the war. They already lost in 1934 when Hitler killed them all in the night of the long knives. And the Nazis, they won the war. And if there's really, if you see all the horrendous things happening, eh? It must be clear that if, if there is a God, which is not even sure, he has absolutely no power over this planet. Nothing at all. You know? And if there is a God at all, his only hope to save his creation is his humanity. To finally stand up and using, you know, the tools of our masters like go and pray and, you know, the, the, the salvation will come and your soul goes to paradise and turn the other cheek, you know, and don't, don't do anything against the Ten Commandments who come out of Pharaoh's 42 principalities of Ma'at who is also the goddess of justice, you know, with a sword and the scales, eh? If there is a god, his only hope is to save it all, humanity finally standing up and do something, instead of, you know, doing what Pharaoh wants us to do, turn the other cheek and keep the bloody Ten Commandments while they're killing us by the millions. Eh? These are Nazi ideas, you understand this? The Ten Commandments is a Nazi idea. It's all from Pharaoh, just like the Nazis are from Pharaoh. It's something completely the opposite of a German nationalist. The Nazis, they killed the nationalists. This is history. So stand up before it's all gone. You know, it's already too late, you know, probably. Stand up and wake up out of this lethargic dogmatism. This was the sneaky bastard sightseeing show. Pharaonic sightseeing. The blue war crown, octagon, the swastika, Isis, Colombia. It's all in it. And I'm walking around on this bloody sneakers, Nazi sneakers socks. And I don't like Nazis. Wow, what an engine. Really? Listen to this, man. So this is Kathleen. She took me hitchhiking. <laughs> Fantastic. Here in Belgium. Nice camping car. I think she's a hippie. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad that I'm happy still left, eh? Listen to this engine, man. Wow. You see the roof of the pyramid here. I was here before, there are three of them. There they are, there are all three of them there. Pharaohs. That's the fourth one. Oh yeah, for the kiddies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well they are they are important too because they they are the future. The future slaves. I like the sound of this car, man. It's like being in the army, that this sort of engines. the race car. Time. Okay, so what I, uh, 20 years ago when I was helping my boyfriend who was studying history, 
and doing research on the monasteries of Sister Ciancers in France. He was uh, investigating how many children there were born in those monasteries. And apparently there were many children born, but they were kind of hidden from society. But there were many, so it, there were schools and there were um, like communities with children, those monasteries. Where, where did they get the children from? Well, you have monks and you have, and there were men and there were women, apparently. <laughs> like, like all over the world. <laughs> and they raped the children, didn't they? Now that you put that question, I would say probably. There's a French uh, historian, a woman, she's talking about this, that they raped the children in the um, Cistercian monasteries. And of course, this is how they got a lot of soldiers. It's the same like in the Islamic State, you know, in making jihadist warriors, you know. If you have children, you can put in their heads whatever you want. The Nazis, they did the same with the Hitler Jugend. Well, thank you very much, Kathleen. That's very important. I would love to talk to your boyfriend about this. Thank you. You're welcome. All frozen. The whole tent is frozen here. Ah. In the Ardennes here. Bloody cold in the Ardennes, huh? So this is only November, right? Oh, I'm glad the sun is coming up. I'm so glad. Uh, it's so much rain, you know, for months and months. The last two months, only rain, rain, rain. Damn cold, right? The windmills of your mind. How was the song again, eh? In Luxembourg it's full of it. You know you see the triangle in red, blue and white. There is the circle for the compass. The whole thing is... Um, and the triangle. Well actually it's only the concept of three here. There must be the concept of four as well but I um, can't see it. Look at that, the inverse pyramid. I can all switch. Eh? The pyramid of death for the political prisoners, the red one. You tell me they don't know what they're doing? Come on! Get out of here! Yeah, look, it's a nice one. First of all, it says Le Comte, the Duke. And look at the logo, yeah. Well, probably I don't have to tell you anymore, eh? This guy is a mason, eh? It's his name, Olivier Lambinet. So why, why do you think he put the circle here, eh? For the compass. And this, this thing here is the square, the blue L. So it does say the square and the compass. So everybody who's initiated, they all see it. Eh? And now you see it too, folks. Eh? Have fun today and look around. Okay, people, we're here with the logos again. You see here, there's a little red square. It, 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 it all has the colors of Pharaoh, red, white and blue. Here there isn't a red square, so the red square represents the uh, the concept of four, as the big uh, blue square. The star has uh, seven branches because the concept of three plus four, it makes seven, like the G. So the concept of four is uh, of three is there as well. Last night was like minus seven in my tent. Look at this. Uh. <laughs> Look at that. It's uh, was it, eight o'clock in the morning. Bloody freezing. Yeah, look at that. It's like bloody Siberia here. Yeah. Oi. Look at that, my tent is getting hairy, <laughs> getting hairy, it was a hairy night, eh? Right. 
Really chill, eh? It's like bloody Siberia here. Look at that. Ah, probably still minus five Celsius. What's that? Oi! Aren't you flying a little bit low, aren't you? Is that the way you fly in Siberia? That was pretty low. Oh, it's all bloody ice here. Yeah. It's quite early, beginning of December. Slept there. Hi. I'm still there, Swiss A. Right. Still there, Swiss A. Hey. Why'd you do it? So I'm hitchhiking here. I'm going to show you how they look like, you know, angry, you know, they even swear at me. You know, look at them, you know, they don't even smile. Come on. But the Muslims are the, are the nicest ones, actually. There's my hairy tree. You know, why did, why did you liberate them, you know? They're angry, you know, they don't even take any hitchhikers. Look at them, you know, look at them, you know, look at them. You shouldn't have liberated them. They don't deserve it. Look at them. Oh, look how they look. Did you see that? Don't liberate them, you know? You only fuck them up with your depleted uranium, like in Iraq and even in Serbia, you know? You know? They look angry. They even swear at me. They didn't deserve to be liberated. Hey, the women and the men. The women are the worst, I tell you. French, the French women are really aggressive. Well, anyway, when the Frenchman, if, if he's behind his car, you know, he thinks he's so big and aggressive, you know. If they need you, they smile and, you know, bunch of pricks, really. Oh. Just wait and see some other more cars. Well, they're not going to stop anyway, so I can just film them, you know. So I'm here in this town here, Compiègne, which is a real pharaonic nest, you know, real posh and all that. Horrible place. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, look at them. Look, look at them. Did you see that? You're swearing at me. See that? Why did you risk your life to liberate them? No people in the world needs to be liberated. You should bloody do it themselves. Look at them. Oh. Come on. Look at them. Oh, they're horrible. You know, horrible people didn't deserve, you know, risk your neck for them. So many Americans died. My grandfather died in 1942. Oh, a little funny smile, which wasn't a smile. Like, ah, yeah, huh, he's hitchhiking, you know. Why'd you do that, you yeah. know? Horrible. Nobody is smiling. Only an Arab he smiled. <laughs> I'm serious, you know. Yeah, look at them. Come on. They don't deserve to be liberated. Don't you get it? They don't give a damn about others, you know? They only wanted to have their comfort back, you know? And get rich, have their cars. That's all what they think about. They don't care about others. And you want to liberate them, you know? Yeah, look at them. Come on. Oh, horrible, eh? Look at that, eh? Mercedes going, oh, that's probably the worst. Look at them. Come on. Yeah, look at them. Look at them. They don't even look, man. Yeah, come on. Hey. What a horrible bunch, eh? It's everywhere like this, you know. Blacks, well, they never stop. Yeah, look at them. They're swearing. Did you see that? Why did you liberate them, man? Why did you do that? Yeah. Go on. Yeah, look at them. Swearing. Did you see that? They say, you can't, you must go, you know, pay your own bus. You know, there isn't any bus here. Yeah? They're even swearing, you know? 
And when the Yanks came like in 45 and all, oh yeah, you, go, you know, you live right to me so we can get rich again, yeah. You paid your life. Well, we didn't want to fight, so you do it for us, eh? The Americans do it. The French didn't want to fight. They dropped their guns in the river and they ran. The only can do is sit in the car and swear. I'm showing it to you, people. Don't liberate them. You did a big mistake because you, you, you believed your Freemason politicians. Well, anyway, the ones who put, you know, the American Revolution, it was Lafayette anyway, and Rothschild from the French wing of the Rothschild and Lafayette, Marquis de Lafayette, it's all the other, you know, you know, coming up, you know. It's all, they're all swearing. So I bloody have to walk then, it was it, three, three and a half quick clicks that way. I don't feel like it, you know. Come on. Ah, uh, the Arab. You see the Arab woman, she was smiling. The only ones. But you don't need to liberate them either, you know, you just, you know, look, it's also swearing, look at them. Ah, uh, punch your face, arsehole. Think you're big in your little French car. <laughs> oh. Well, you got an idea. <laughs> Muslims. <laughs> or maybe rugby player, they also have beards. Oh, I heard South African won the cup. <laughs> Didn't even know that. I heard it yesterday, a month later, or two months later, don't even know what happened. Don't care about it anyway, you know. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at them. Look at these faces, man. Oh, look at them. Do you see that? Oh, it's the last one. I'm going to stop it. Yeah. So this is north of Paris. You know, it's real... It's a bad region. Very bad. Very bad. Yeah, look at them. Neutral. That one's neutral. The only one. <laughs> didn't swear at me. The bloody fascist! You should leave them with the bloody Jerry's and the Nazis, that's what they deserve. You know, if they're fascists anyway, you know, leave them with the fascist. Why well, risk your neck, you know? Hello. Come on. No smile, nothing. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they're horrible. What a horrible bunch, a filthy bunch, eh? They don't, you know, they, um, there's no gratitude, you know, if you would be an American standing here, you're like your grandfather liberated them. There's no gratitude, nothing at all. They even swear at America, you know, America's bad and all this, the French always do, you know. So, but they all go to the McDonald's, you know, look at that. And then they swear at America. You must be stupid to go on a bloody beach, you know, with the bullets flying overhead. And anyway, you know, at the beach, I heard the, you know, the guys, the German behind the, uh, the MG42, uh, the Hitler saw, he, um, he, he, he mowed them all down, yeah, but they became friends. And the German said, you know, we didn't, uh, look at them. This is going to stop, eh? Oh, nice. So, as I told you, only the Arabs, you know, they were smiling. This is an Arab woman, Algerian. Merci beaucoup, vous êtes yeah, superbe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wassalamu alaikum. I like the Arabs, they stop. Good thing, eh? Oh! <laughs> the only one who stopped were the Arabs. Fantastic. Let's see, it's minus zero. It's uh, windy. And my zipper broke. It's snowy. You see here. Because it was all it was wet last night and then it started freezing. And my zipper was already broken after the storm in Spain. I got a lot of sand in it, it didn't work anymore. So I had to yank it last night. And it all it all broke here. Look. 
And that's not funny if your life is depending on it, you know. It's not a good moment. It's all broken. Yeah, see the air. Uh, not nice. It's not funny with minus temperatures. You know, I just yanked it open there, the zipper. Well, it's it's gone now, eh? So it's extremely cold there. Oh, well, never mind. You've got an idea, eh? <laughs> uh, I need a rest. You know, hundreds of cars are going to pass by. Nobody's going to stop, you know. So, you know, they're sitting all alone in their cars. Look at them. Yeah? All alone. You shouldn't have liberated them. You know, they're not thankful. They wouldn't liberate you. No friends you would come and liberate the Americans, eh? Only the aristocracy for their own, for their own good, like Lafayette and all that, you know, Marquis, to fill up their pockets with the new world and slavery, with sli Swiss slavery ships, you know, and yeah, look at them. Nobody's going to stop, you know, hundreds of cars, you know. Well, I'm not going to fill them all, you know, it's, uh, it's a bad of my uh, memory card, you know, look at them. Yeah. I tell you, hundreds of cars sitting all alone, look at them. Yeah. The fancy cars, you know. That's Frenchy. Nobody's gonna stop. You know. With my military pack, you know, I might be a grandson of a of a liberator. Hey? They don't stop, they're not thankful, they just wanna be helped. You know, it's everywhere like that, you know. Especially here. Oh yeah. Yeah, look. Sitting all alone in their cars, you know, look at them. Only Arabs they stop. <laughs> Especially Arab women. Yeah. They even swear at you. Anyway, you know, it's only your politicians and the elite to say you have to liberate them, you know, so they can fill up their pockets, you know. Yeah, look at them. So they can fill up their pockets. It has nothing to do with helping people, you know? And nobody is, you know, especially the blacks, they don't they never stop, you know. Arabs stop. Nice. You know? Well there's the last one, eh? You, you got the picture, eh? Yeah, look at them. Sitting all alone, eh? You got the picture, eh? Don't go and help people, don't go and liberate them. It's useless. You get a bloody medal, you know, for your own death, you know, and your and your children, you know. Oh, it's the last one, little yellow car, you know. Not even the yellow little yellow car stop, you know. Look at them. They got plenty of space, you know. Look at them. Plenty of space. They don't care, you know. Don't liberate them, okay? They don't want them. They don't need to be liberated with the depleted uranium and all that. They're not thankful, yeah. They even swear at America, you know? Yeah, look. Slow car. Nobody's, ah, oh, they're gonna stop, yeah! <laughs> you won't believe it, you know? This is like glue, you know? And my soul's already falling apart, you know? Look at that. Here it's bad, you know, there, where I haven't been walking. But here where I've been walking, I, I can't even lift my feet up anymore, you know, like here. Uh, it's, it's stuck, you know, I have to do it like this. And if I walked a little bit further, there's grass over there. All of this because of the consequences of the Swiss organized liars and their Nazi people. Four years like this. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to forget this, Swiss, eh?
organized Nazi people they are. Liars, organized liars. Look at this. Look at this. I can't, I can't even walk, man. It's all dirty. I'm dirty. Nobody in the world is doing anything about the Swiss because it's the base of it all. It has the laws of silence. Yeah, look at it. Has the, well, here I can walk a little bit, but over there, why, you know, I've been flattening it. It's, it's glue. And my soles are getting off, you know. I'm going to walk now, you know. Nobody in the world is, I'm the only person in the world that's trying to do against something against Swissy and their crimes. And look at, look at the result. In two days is December. This is the result. If you talk against, if you tell the truth about what Swissy did and what they do. I've never in my entire life I've seen such an organized people, organized lies, organized evil, incredibly organized, you know, and they're everywhere in the entire world on all key positions, people. That's why nobody does a thing about Switzerland. Eh? They just can go on and they can go on, right? Eh? There's my petrol station. I'll get through it. Look at this, man. Look at it, it's heavy. It's got like, it's like the chain gang. Look at it. I've got a metal ball in my feet. Oh, look at that. Bloody hell. Here's worse. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. Eh? Hey, Swissy. Hey, Swissy, look at this. Hey, Swissy. You bloody liars. I could be with my family, Swissy, instead of this. I'm four years like this, Swissy, but I'm still here, Swissy. I tell the world about what you do, eh, Swissy? You organized criminal, Nazi criminals, Nazi Templars you are, Pharaoh. We don't want you in this world, eh? Humanity don't need you, Swissy. You did so much wrong. Yeah, look, you know, pyramid, the concept of three in a horizontal and a vertical one. And it even says M for Mason, you know. Okay, well, hello, slaves. Are you watching my videos? Look, it says SAS. You're an ICS, mate. You're an ICS. Get out of here. Petrol station everywhere, you know. Already showed you this one. This is a fantastic one. It's the Vesica Piscas in 3D with the oval, like the oval office in it. So that's very rare. I see the black forest from here. Uh, well, yeah. Very rare. Only maybe one time a year you see that. I can't hardly see it, eh? Yeah. And there's the La Vosges. And over there it becomes Le Jura. And Jura is old Celtic language, it means the Black Forest. And it just got interrupted somewhere there in Basel, in the Valley of the Rhine. And like Ju, it means uh, uh, the forest. And Ra, it means black in Celtic language. So in France, Jura is the same mountain ridge actually as here. The, uh, the Black Forest. Extremely rare. Maybe I haven't even seen it even one time here. So I'm standing next to Mulhouse. Just wraps it all up. So as you can see, it was a cold night. Yeah, that's all I see. All ice. Very windy. So I'm like beginning of December. Yeah. Black Forest. Very rare. Now, let's go. You see, there are these two circles here. Now for the, for the compass. Here's another one. 
I was thinking, where is the concept of four? Us. I don't see it. You know, looking around here. Oh, there's another one here. The three. Oh, the three things here. I don't see the four either. But I think, where is it, you know? No, I understand it. Three is them. You know, the side of a pyramid with the compass. You can make the side of 60, 60, 60 degrees. Triangle. And the piece of rubble, that's us. We are unorganized. It's a mess. And look at them. You know, they are a perfect circle. They're very organized. That is the concept of four. That was it means. It's not for children to play, you know. It's all occult. Nobody comes here. Not even with the dogs. This is us, people. Hey, keep on hoping, keep on praying, hey, and everybody for himself, you stupid slaves. You now look at that. Just use your head. You know, God gave you a brain to think about, you know, and not to hope and to pray and to believe. Oh, it's a waste of time, you know, we have no more time. We're destroying everything. So you pray that it gets something better, you know, uh, like this here, like a so something you can like fucking live in, you're like, you know. That's what you're praying for and nothing will ever happen. You dumb slaves. That's us, hey? You get it. Nice tree though. Another hairy tree where I slept under. So look at it. Why do you think there are like one, two, three here? Look there, no more. On the other side, there are four. One, two, three, four. I mean, there's, there's no more. The concept of three and the concept of four. It's everywhere. Look, even in the coat of arms, you've got the concept of three in it. Three daggers, eh? Three spears, you know. The one they put in Jesus' side after he did the vision quest or something. Uh, it's all the same. Look, there's three of them. See? Four there and three here. There's, there's no more, really. No more. You can see it all, eh? It was funny. I was just in the, uh, in the... I wanted to go into the bus and I talked with an Arab with blue eyes. Nice bloke. Uh, I didn't have an, a, an enough small change, you know, for the two euros. But I didn't even ask him. He gave me 50 cents. And... Um, then I wanted to pay in the bus. I said, can you open the back door, please? Uh, because I... Uh, it's too big for my backpack and everything. No, so... And then I came in the back. I, I went to the driver and I wanted to pay. He said, no, you don't have to pay. It's too, it's too expensive, he said. <laughs> you know, there's a revolution coming on here, I, I tell you. They're all fed up with it. He said, no, no, don't, I don't want your money, it's too expensive. <laughs> Funny, you know. So I go hitchhiking. Yeah? I have something to say, right? What? So this is a Ukrainian guy. Ah, yeah, he's Ukrainian. And he, he said today five of his friends died in Donetsk. And we, we don't know what's going on, you know. Tu peux le dire encore en français? Cinq amis. Cinq amis morts. Just. Oh, it's very difficult. I don't translate. The five friends in the bed. Yeah, today. I don't. So folks, there's a war going on and you don't hear nothing about it. These liar newspapers, liar media. It's a nice, friendly man. Yeah. Uh, look, they're all Europeans. I mean, why, why do, do, don't, don't listen to our politicians, you know? There's a very nice French car here, Renault. It's like, it's like a Rolls Royce. Very comfortable, no noise. Five uh, friends? Yeah, five friends, yeah. So five five of his friends got killed in Donetsk by the by the Russians. There's a bloody war going on and we don't hear nothing about it. So bad. Does we done ya? 
<laughs> so this guy is of the, the um, uh, of the forest, um, you know, an official. You see here the concept of four, the four lines, and it's all together, which is the us for the square, and it's all together here in the circle for the concept of three. Hello. A bit more, did but. So. Uh, two weeks ago, I was sleeping exactly here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. All because of Swissy. They want me dead. You know, they murdered many people in the in their prisons, torture detention centers, and they even said said it to me, the police, the Swiss police. And I've got threats on the internet by the Swiss Justice Department that they want me dead. This is what they want. Hey, they want Sean Ross dead, you see, and they told me so. I've got the proofs. I got it's the the emails. They don't even talk about it. You know nothing. They are the most evil Nazi people in the world, and they're very good at hiding it. The Swissies are. I tell you, they're behind everything. You know. So see the real enemy, folks. I can't go on forever like this, so I've done enough. One of these days, I've got one of these on my head. This is the real enemy, Switzerland. The weather is horrible. Raining, storming. Horrible weather. It's like Breek and Bacons. Uh, Breek and Beacons. Sorry. Uh, I got one of these. I could have had it on my head, eh? That would have made you happy, eh, Swiss, eh? And then you would have said, oh no, we're neutral, we're so clean. We didn't do nothing. We're such a clean country. We are Switzerland, eh? That's what they would have said. So clean Switzerland. I even filmed it for you here when I was sleeping here. Um, I was standing here, yeah, uh, talking about I, I, you know, I needed a YouTube channel. The horse was standing there. Remember, my tent was here. You know, Swissy won me dead, folks. They're working on it. Hi, eh? hey, eh? Okay, this is a very extremely bad tent, French, from Degadlon. Yeah, look, quick hiker too. You see all the holes in it? You know, this this is the brand here. Degadlon. Very extremely bad quality. No quality at all. Why, why do I use the word quality? I mean, look at it, you know? This is where the arches go through. And then in the middle of the night, this stuff here, you see how thin it is? It's like a, a composite material. It's not even alum, aluminium, aluminium, as the Americans say. Eh? Look at this. It just broke in the middle of the night. Aluminium doesn't break like this. You know, this is some sort of plastic. I don't, this is aluminium, this white here. This is, but this is not. Look at it. How it so in the middle of the night, I didn't know where to sleep, you know, they're endangering my life. Quetch, quetcha. You see all the holes, so it, it even went, it, it went through my tent here, look at that. It went through it, because it's all sharp, like a knife. And this is the problem nowadays, you know. This is why humanity, it's a big problem. Because, you know, they hire like people who just done like engineering at the university but they have no experience you know they they just have a big hard disk in their heads you know but they don't have the intelligence you know to find things out themselves or to invent and all the things that have been invented tens and everything are in the hands now of people who just have a big hard disk, which is not intelligence, you know? 
It's just an intelligence to suck up things, but they can't figure it out themselves, you know? And the other problem is things are not even tested anymore. They just bring it on the market, money, money, money. That's all what counts nowadays. Look at this garbage. Decathlon, you're selling garbage. You're endangering my life. I can test it for you, you know, but you're too dumb to use it, you know, my offer. Because you're arrogant, you know, everything is arrogant nowadays, you know. You take your engineers, yeah, we can do it ourselves. The engineers have no idea about camping, you know. So, very bad quality, eh? Endangering my life. It's called Quick Hiker too. Well, there was a very, really quick hiker. You're not going to hike very long. Eh? It's going to be very quick with that one, eh? No, I tell you, eh? It's going to be this quick. It's bloody plastic it is. A composite material, eh? I, I, could, I could snap it with my two fingers here, like this, you know? This is aluminum, this one here, aluminum. But, but the rest, what a garbage. It's all about money, today's society. No more quality, nothing. Just like my shoes. I mean, I mean, I mean, what did you do in life, you know? Now it's over. You know, you did nothing. You just worked for as a slave for Pharaoh. And it's over. You never done anything. You know, just be, you know, eating grass. Do you, the sheep or grassing, eh? And now it's over. And there is no paradise, there's nothing, you just lost it, you did nothing. It's the end. Nothing for your children, you know, just being a slave of Pharaoh, of these ones here on the other side of the bloody wall, believing there's a paradise. Let me tell you, you're not important. You're not important at all. You're just a bloody slave, look. You're just disappearing into fucking nothing. European bushniggers.